There are places in Tamriel that few know about, and that even fewer still have actually seen. If you could step off the northern shore of Skyrim and walk east across the sea, you would pass several small islands nestled in between the mainland and the Arctic ice in the north, between civilization and the edge of the world. Just before reaching the Patamaic Ocean, as Vardenfell passes you by in the south, there is the island of Roscrea. It is said that they were giants once, and in some ways, they always will be. In the Third Era, both the Empire and Solitude of Skyrim would launch failed attempts at conquering Roscrea. Their aim was to gain access to the remarkable Mithril, a metal both stronger and lighter than steel, not found anywhere else in the world. Crane Shore, a port settlement on the southern edge, saw most of the fighting. By the conflict's end, it had been completely destroyed. But as the dust settled, a statue still stood tall amongst the ruins, untouched by the flame. To this day, Uriel V stands vigilant in Crane Shore, warning and welcoming those who visit the island. No one really knows what the natives think of their former emperor or his likeness. Any army who wishes to take Roscrea must not only brave the sea, but also the island itself. No soldier from a foreign invader has ever set foot in the island's capital, Fruthul. This is where some of our work has been focused recently, including a completely new furniture set for middle-class interiors. Although Roscrea has been trading with the mainland for many years now, the people still have to make do with the materials that are available to them. Their respect for function and reliability is apparent, but it is clothed in skilled craftsmanship and fine detail that a brief glance would not reveal. Outside the settlements, the island of Roscrea offers risk and reward that should be familiar to those who like to tread off the beaten path. The natives know better than to intrude upon certain areas, but adventurers arriving from the mainland show no such restraint. Continuing on the topic of furniture, you will find some even in places that cannot be described as civilized. These have also been replaced with a new custom set, unique to Roscrea. Although the underground areas should feel familiar to Skyrim's, we decided that Roscrea's unique mountain formations warranted a complete retexture of the dungeon tile set. The island's native rock, particularly underneath the surface, bears all the signs of volcanic activity. Many years ago, it flowed over the land in searing hot streams underneath clouds of ash. Back then, we see the origin of the Draugr, the magically cursed undead that roam Roscrea's dungeons still. They worshipped powerful cult priests and willingly surrendered their souls to protect their masters even beyond death. On their animated husks sit pieces of armor crafted from bronze, worn by the original Roscrians. The set was modeled by Fourth Unknown, whom you might remember from Iliac Bay's New Creatures. In addition, we also have several new armor sets ready. Working with Nordwar, we have added the sets for steel, leather, and hide, found mostly on lower level enemies and NPCs. Hide is a favorite of explorers and travelers, and of Roscrean natives who live above the snow line. Stitched together from the pelts of several arctic creatures and accompanied by fur-lined gloves, boots, and hat, what it sacrifices in weapon resistance, it makes up for in warmth and durability. Leather is a less common option on the island, owing to the complexity of its construction and lower suitability for a winter climate. But many natives prefer it to the more restrictive hide outfit, especially in places where one doesn't need quite as much protection from the elements. Lastly, steel splint mail is the choice of guardians and warriors, Believed to be a native reinterpretation of a legionnaire's battle plate, it recognizes the people and creatures of Roscrea as a greater threat than the snows and gelid winds. 
On a bad night, you'll find those wearing steel huddled around a fire, unless their veins are already as cold as ice. The Roscrea team is currently accepting applications for writers and 3D modelers. In terms of writing, we still have need for some more quests, and we're interested in having an experienced writer join to help with some overarching plot elements. For 3D assets, we still have some more armor and clothing that need modeling. For more information, visit our website at beyondskyrim.org/join. Thank you very much for watching.